What's up, guys? Derek Featherston here at the PSFLA, Los Angeles. I've got Sophia Viner with me, and uh, today we're going to show a uh, a setup from the uh, very very similar to the people that watch the Daisy Fresh curriculum. Not coincidence that all of that stuff that I learned and did also um, I've kind of built on. So, um, or he helped me build on. But I have a couple of little variations of things that I like to do from a very similar position. Okay, so. Um, a lot of the um, the white belt curriculum was pistol grip and to the elbow and forcing the elbow across. And then they got that whole series there where they're waxing everywhere. Okay? So um, that's one of my favorite grips, but I have just a, a, just a little different way that, I, that I've done it over the, over the years. I like to cross grip the sleeve. Okay? And you notice I'm coming just like spider guard when we come inside and bring the wrist outside. So since I'm going cross sleeve, I'm going to come to the outside and bring my wrist inside. I'm going to try to get my hand in here to control. Okay. So instead of going to the armpit or the elbow, I like to go to the armpit, right here where the stitching is in the gi. Okay. This makes an incredible grip. Okay. And one of the reasons I like this too, the elbow is great too, but you have so much control of their posture here when they try to stand. So like if Sophia tried to stand up, look, I can adjust with this hand. I don't even need this hand to hold her posture. So when she stands up, I can focus on here to keep her down, okay? I don't even need this hand to hold the arm. I hold her here. I can come back and get this anytime, okay? So my favorite thing to do when I get this is shrimp away and put my right foot on the same side uh, of the body that I'm controlling the arm, okay? So I'm gonna come here, step in and I put the other foot here. Once I get this foot here, I'm going to scoot all the way away. I'm going to push and chamber my leg, okay? Look, this becomes the battle here. She's going to want to grab it and control it. We're going to want to try to keep it away. Anytime I can bring my foot inside her arm or touch her shoulder, all I have to do is pull the arm and shoot the leg to the head. There's the triangle right there. Okay? You're probably not going to land with it like this. You're still going to have to do this. and. Grab the head, grab the Okay. But we're going to go cross grip, elbow, or I'm sorry, armpit. We're going to move away. And look, this works even if she stands up again. Even if she stands up, I can keep the triangles here. Okay. And what I'm focusing on, can I stand up? Again, you're not going to land normally in a full blown triangle like this, right? The triangle is, is adjust, 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 okay? So I'm focusing on getting my hip under her armpit and just crossing my feet here, okay? I'm pretty close to being able to close, but I still would just push the arm across, grab the head, shin, adjust, and okay? And it doesn't matter if they're on the ground or if they stand up, same thing, okay? So cross grip, under the armpit, Okay, bring that elbow in, get a good grip, come away, foot to the hip, and I push her away. If she stays there, look, there's a triangle right there. She stands up, I leg, I, I pummel my leg with her, we hand fight here, boom. Okay? And then like I said, snap that closed and then the triangle is going to be mostly adjusting from there. Okay? So that's a great setup from that uh, two on one. And, uh, and we'll show some other things from there too. We'll, we'll build from there also. <laughs>